It's September 28, 1918. British soldier Henry Tandy and his eight comrades were surrounded by the enemy. Other soldiers would have given up long ago, but not Henry. He grabbed his rifle, bayonet at the ready, and rushed at the enemy. This was the first time after four years of war that these German soldiers had seen such courage and selflessness on the part of a doomed enemy. Henry almost single-handedly scattered enemy fighters in all directions. His comrades were only able to take the wounded and unarmed opponents into captivity. Twice, the enemy's blade badly wounded Henry, but even this couldn't stop this brave British private. He fought to the end, until the enemy eventually retreated. 37 German soldiers were taken prisoner. It was the biggest victory in Tandy's life, for which he would later receive the Victoria Cross, the highest award given in the British Army. After the battle, now in a semi-conscious state, Henry noticed yet another enemy. An unarmed, wounded German soldier had inadvertently wandered into the British position. Henry pointed his rifle at him. In a second, he was going to send the enemy into the next life. But this was too easy of a target, and such a simple kill would certainly not add to Henry's battle glory. The British soldier lowered his rifle. Enough bloodshed for today. The German, on his part, nodded his head in gratitude and walked away. It was at that moment that Henry made the biggest mistake of his life. He saved the life of none other than Corporal Adolf Hitler. Now, the authenticity of this story has not been proven and is still in question. However, given that Hitler did indeed spend the entire First World War in the trenches, this and many other similar cases could very well have occurred. Tendi's unexpected generosity ended up costing Europe multiple destroyed cities and millions of lives. There are other, more verifiable cases of errors in our history, which also came at great cost as well. Back when Elon Musk was still just some unknown guy from South Africa, Aryan Space showed great promise in being able to take the place where SpaceX has now firmly established itself. Since the mid-1980s, Aryan Space had been developing rockets capable of delivering cargo to the ISS. Company management had especially high hopes for the rocket Ariane 5. Leading engineers spent 10 years of their lives on the development of this rocket. The development budget was about $7 billion, which at that time was an even more incredible amount. Then, on July 4, 1996, all those who participated in the development process stood breathless as they counted off the seconds until their creation would take off into space. The device took off from the ground and members of the flight control team began to congratulate each other with tears in their eyes. But their happiness did not last long. At the 40th second of the flight, the rocket exploded before reaching its target. Its wreckage, along with all the workers' ambitions, came crashing to the ground. No one could believe what happened. The engineers racked their brains trying to find the cause of this disaster. After they completed the investigation, it became even more of an insult to them. The rocket exploded due to a computer error. The error occurred while converting some data, which then activated the self-destruct system. This computer error is estimated to have cost anywhere between $360 and $500 million and is considered the most expensive in history. However, this incident is nothing compared to the mistakes that resulted in the loss of actual lives, especially when one was warned about the impending catastrophe six times over, yet only silence was given in response. On April 14, 1912, starting at 9 a.m., the Titanic's radio operators received six warnings of floating icebergs along the liner's course. Reducing the speed would have avoided the catastrophe, but those in charge of the unsinkable ship intended to do everything they could to meet the schedule. For this reason, according to various estimates, they ended up paying anywhere from 1,490 to 1,635 human lives. And the liner itself went straight to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Time continues to pass, but not all sailors learn from the fatal mistakes of their ancestors. March 23, 1989. The Exxon Valdez tanker was carrying about 200 million tons of oil off the coast of Alaska. For such precious cargo, the ship's crew was obviously going to have to be especially vigilant. At first, the sailors acted professionally. Captain Joseph Hazelwood discovered that an iceberg was ahead of them, so he ordered a change of course after contacting the Coast Guard. And in honor of this event, he then decided to have a drink or two. Afterwards, the drunken captain went to sleep in the cabin, 
leaving the burden of responsibility on the shoulders of the third assistant, named Cousins. The drunken captain had previously instructed Cousins on how to sail through the bay. The assistant did everything right, but still not fast enough. As a result, the tanker ran aground near Bly Reef. 40 million liters of oil ended up in the ocean. Thousands of seals, sea otters, entire flocks of various birds, and whole schools of salmon were affected. The oil slick spread almost 11,000 square miles, over 28,000 square kilometers. This is practically the size equivalent of the whole state of Nevada, and under the oily film, all life there died out. If the captain's assistant had looked at the monitor in time, the tragedy could have been avoided. Only it hadn't been working for some time, and the tanker owners had decided not to repair the expensive equipment. Over a decade before this, in 1978 in Pennsylvania, there was an emergency at a nuclear power plant. Operators on Three Mile Island were not trained well enough to spot problems early and fix them quickly. This led to the largest nuclear accident in U.S. history. One of the reactors melted by about 50% and streams of radioactive gases leaked out. Fortunately, the impact on the environment was small, but the U.S. government immediately stopped the construction of new nuclear power plants and curtailed the operation of the existing ones. Following the accident, licenses for the construction of nuclear power plants was not issued until 2012. Such a decision most likely saved America from the same catastrophe that they failed to avoid in the USSR. On April 25th, at the Chernobyl power plant, the fourth reactor was scheduled to shut down for some repairs. The personnel who were set to conduct a series of tests had already checked out on vacation mentally. The tests started on the 26th at 1.23 and 4 seconds. Despite the reactor cooling, its power suddenly began to increase. At first, this didn't really bother anyone, but when the figures on the screens reached critical numbers, it was already too late. After only 27 seconds, the operator pressed the emergency button. Then two powerful explosions went off, and the reactor was completely destroyed. If the evacuation of the population and the mitigation of the aftermath had begun immediately after the accident, there would have been fewer victims by a long count. However, the very fact that the disaster had even occurred was hushed up for a long time. Any and all measures were taken too late. For a long time, the locals had no idea what awaited them. Radiation spread at a catastrophic pace over hundreds of miles around. For several generations, sick children were born as a result. After a series of ridiculous errors, millions were left broken and destitute. It just so happens that even the slightest miscalculations can lead to catastrophic consequences. Back in 2014, French railway workers attempted to transport as many passengers as possible. For this reason, they purchased 341 extended trains. But for some railway stations, they turned out to be too wide. These few extra inches prevented the trains from safely passing stops. In order to avoid accidents, French railway workers had to spend about 50 million euros to build additional stations. Granted, these sums hardly affected the large company. However, one American hunter had to pay $9,000, which most certainly hit his budget. But all he wanted was to be saved. It was 2003 when the 34-year-old hunter went out into the forests near San Diego, hoping to catch some game. But the hunt did not exactly work out, and a few hours later, the man realized that he was lost. In order to attract the attention of any rescuers, he lit a fire in the forest, but he slightly overdid it. The fire spread to a dry tree standing nearby. As a result, due to the actions of the unlucky hunter, 110,500 hectares of forest were burned down, 2,820 buildings were destroyed, and 15 people died. Two years later, an extraordinary stock market crash happened in Japan and all because of a single typo. The Mizuho Financial Group Incorporated planned to sell each of its shares for 610,000 yen. However, due to someone's inattention, they sold 610,000 shares at the price of one yen. This silly typo cost $225 million and ultimately bankrupt the company. On July 6, 1988, Piper Alpha oil rig workers were going about their daily business. They never even suspected that their tower would become hell on earth later that night. The day shift had to remove a valve from one of the pumps for later repairs. When the night shift came, the engineer could not tell the duty keeper about the breakdown because he was busy. In order not to distract his colleague, the engineer decided to just leave a note 
that ended up lost among other various notes. As a result, the largest explosion in the entire history of the oil industry took place there. The damage amounted to about $3.4 billion. 167 oil rig employees died. Only 61 workers managed to escape. Approximately the same number of victims, if not more, could have been the tally as a result of the fall of a Chinese house in the Lotus Riverside complex, Lotus Riverside. On June 27, 2009, at 5.30 a.m., one of the houses collapsed like a house of cards. Imagine how many people would have died if the 13-story building had been occupied. However, only one worker died during the collapse. The cause of the accident was a gross mistake made during construction. The multi-story building was built on a 33-foot or 10-meter hill on one side with an underground parking lot on the other. Those responsible for this critical error were sent to jail for five years. Also worth noting are the stupid and expensive mistakes made at the state level. The Falkland Islands were a particular eyesore for Argentinian President Leopoldo Gautieri. He was terribly annoyed by the fact that this piece of land did not belong to him, but to Great Britain instead. Gautieri decided to correct this oversight and send troops there with full confidence that Great Britain, located on the other side of the planet, would not react in any way. But Albion did not, in fact, stand aside, and Argentina paid for this with $850 million, as well as the lives of 649 soldiers. Because he had started this bloody conflict, the people of Argentina had no desire to even mention Gautieri in the list of their presidents. But if we're talking about the most expensive mistake in history, then Russian Tsar Alexander II of Russia can hardly be topped. During his reign, Alaska still belonged to Russia. Possession of this land seemed to be nothing but an extra burden to the king. So in 1867, he sold it to the American government for $7.2 million. And only later, it turned out that this territory is actually rich in oil and gold, the reserves being estimated at about $200 billion. Although by that time, the relations between Tsarist Russia in North America were weakening. However, one can't exactly say the Tsar was at a complete loss. After all, he could have potentially not received so much as a cent from this land at all. If you know of any other costly mistakes from history, please share them in the comments below.